We're going to get started now with the Bentley Power Civil Modeler for Roadway and Intersections course. First thing we're going to talk about, the first objective, is to kind of get familiar with what a site modeler project is. And to do that, I've kind of created um, a description that kind of explains what the project is. A project basically is our is a file, and it's a container, and it holds many surfaces. So in Site Modeler, we have surfaces, multiple surfaces that we're going to be working with, and they're broken up into models and objects. Traditionally, a surface would be within one file. So in other programs, um, one surface would be contained in one file, a tin file. Well, in this case, the modeler project file is a holder of many surfaces. So let's take a look just at a quick little diagram and explain the components of the project file. Very simply, a project file has three main components, models, objects, and elements. The first component the, that we want to talk about is the model. A model is a logical group of objects. So for example, when I'm grading a site, and let's just take a look at the site that I'm grading today. When we're grading a site, we might break that site up into many objects, or we might have one object. Here's our particular site today, and we're going to be working on the roadways mainly, and the pond, but the site has parking lot area and a building area. So the overall grading of the site would be the model. And in that model, I'll have a, a logical group of elements. And I just have, I have to determine what that'll be. So I may have, in my case, a road, so one object, another road, two objects, a parking lot, three, a building, four, and a pond, five. So my model might consist of five objects and also the existing ground, surrounding existing ground surface. But I also might have a subdivision over to the east, and that could be in a separate model. So I wouldn't have a model of the subdivision to the east that contains the pond to the west. Just a logical uh, group of objects. Objects, the second component of the modeler project file, is a logical group of site elements. Over to the right here, I've kind of just simply drawn a cross-section of two objects, a roadway and a building. I can see the roadway has a center line where the slope breaks, edge of pavement on each side. Those three elements come together to form the surface of the roadway. The building pad, and however it's depicted, would be a group of its own elements. And I wouldn't combine the two into one object. So I'm logically grouping elements to form the object surface. Now one unique thing about objects is that they have their own side slopes. What are side slopes? Side slopes are how does this object tie down to the surface around it. So in our case, we're going to shoot slopes off of the edge of the road or maybe the back of the curb or shoulder or something until we hit the ground surface. And we'll do that all around the object. So how do we merge with the surface around it? Objects have their own side slopes, so the roadway could have different slopes than the building pad. The building pad could have flatter slopes. So each object is assigned its own individual slope. The last component are elements. And really the main thing that we're going to be working with when we're modeling is the elements. 
I've kind of defined what elements are here. Elements are 2D or 3D microstation graphics or elements that you assign elevation to, that you assign a DTM feature to, and that you assign association to. So we have a set of tools that allow you to pick a graphic and say, I want it to be this elevation, or calculate its elevation for me based on this criteria. So you assign elevation to it. And then we, all, we have the same tool tells tells it that it's going to be a break line or a boundary of some sort. So we assign a feature to it because in essence we're building surfaces and that's a digital train model and they need to know how to handle the different types of features that a DTM has. And finally, you assign association to it. And so for in the example of the roadway, you know, I may calculate the edge of pavement to get its elevation based on the slope from the center line. So that I could do things like, you know, when I move the center line and I raise it up, the edge of pavement goes with it. And then of course we modify the slopes as well. We recalculate the slopes and shoot a whatever they are, 3 to 1 or 6 to 1, we re redetermine those. So association is, remember how you got your elevation assigned so that if things change, you can get your elevation updated. And in the case of the edges of the pavement, they would need to stay at their constant relationship of 2% cross slope to the center line. So you see a project file, a GSF, Every project you have will have one project file, and you'll be creating models in there, putting objects into those models, and then putting elements into those objects, and working out a surface based on that. So what we're going to do in the first step is to create that project. So we'll do that next.